weather. Um, it's been absolutely <laughs> horrible, really. I, I mean, we say, need the rain. The messenger. I know, I know. We've had the, thank you, Victoria, we've had the sixth wettest July on record and the wettest July since 2009. That's probably no surprise to most of you. And we've had another wet, windy start to the day across the southwest. We've got a weather warning that stands for the bulk of daylight hours today. Strong winds already. We've had gusts of 55 miles an hour across the Isles of Scilly. And that, uh, that wind will continue to be quite strong through this afternoon. This deep air of low pressure is moving out towards the east. It does stay quite blustery tomorrow, but we start to get a northerly wind. So cooler air, more chance there of seeing some sunshine, slightly lighter winds in comparison, but still the risk of a few showers. We do start to get this area of high pressure building for Friday. So briefly, we'll see some dry weather, some sunshine before this next area comes in, I'm afraid, just in time for the weekend. So we have got some showers out there. A lot of clouds still, a lot of low clouds, but the strength of the wind is breaking the cloud up in places. Still, though, the majority of us will have an overcast afternoon, windy, particularly along the south coast and for the Isle of Wight and the Channel Lines. Those winds could be gusting 50, perhaps even 60 miles an hour for the Channel Lines and the Isles of Scilly this afternoon. A cool afternoon for all of us, temperatures of just 19 degrees. Tonight, the winds ease briefly, still fairly cloudy, still with the risk of some heavy showers, particularly in the west. Again, though, no issues with our temperatures overnight getting down to around 15 degrees a slight improvement tomorrow I think it will still be windy but the winds not as strong as today and we should see more sunshine there'll still be some showers to watch out for they could be heavy but I think there'll be some dry weather in between the showers particularly into the afternoon we should start to see some decent spells of sunshine temperatures only a degree higher than today but with slightly lighter winds and more sunshine it should feel a bit warmer come tomorrow the channel lines are getting the full brunt of those strong winds this afternoon and overnight 50 mile an hour gusts at times further heavy showers throughout the night and particularly this batch coming in towards dawn that could be quite thundery as well so an unsettled spell of weather for the channel lines any consolation though it is staying quite mild overnight showers on and off through the course of tomorrow heavy at times like the rest of us we should see some dry weather some bright weather but for the channel lines that may well come towards the end of the day still breezy with northwesterly winds but the winds not as strong as today still though feeling quite cool temperatures in the teens so still some unsettled weather over the next few days the odd dry bright day i think friday one of the better days with some decent spells of sunshine Saturday, we'll see some strong winds, some heavy rain. That'll clear later on. Sunday, mainly dry with some sunshine. The odd bright day and starting to turn a bit warmer briefly towards the end of next week, Victoria. Glimmers of sunshine. Glimmers I of hope see there, yes. <laughs> Thanks, B. And that's it from us for now. There'll be regular travel and weather updates and news updates on your local radio station. And we'll see you hopefully at 6.30.